I think it is rather an opportunity to educate um, um, Beatrice because um, I know um, she is a lawyer, but at least some of us, we have knowledge when it comes to um, chemical uh, things that we do at the laboratory. And when we say best before <coughs> and expiry date, we, 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 we have meanings attached to them. Just like how I cannot take the seat of being a lawyer and interpret some things or probably try to interpret some parts of the law because I don't have that jurisdiction. I don't have that power. I don't have that knowledge to do so. And so I think it is, a, it is an opportunity to educate um, um, Beatrice. Because let me tell you something. No matter what you do, you can never, ever destroy the purpose for which we instituted Free Senior High School. Um, anybody who listened to um, Beatrice will just realize that she wanted to find a way to, 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 to probably make Free Senior High School not look attractive to parents and make them alarmed for no reason. And I don't know why she, she takes delight in doing such things. No government I, uh, will be interested in poisoning our children. Now, let me take you back to something. I read something from Kwesi Kwarteng. I remember uh, when he was interviewed. Last week. Yes, last, two, last week. He made it very clear that the Ministry of Education is not in charge of um, when it comes to giving schools food. It is the buffer stock. But then they made it clear that, look, it is not going to be something that they will entertain or tolerate when they realize that the food that is given to the children are unwholesome. They wouldn't do that. And so he came out and made it clear on his walk that when we say an expiry date, or when you take a product and you look on the product and they write expiry date, what it means is different from best before date. And so they said... An expiry date indicates the date after which a food product is no longer safe for consumption. So if you take a product, for instance, this water, and they've written, this one, they didn't write expiry date, they rather wrote best before. When they say expiry date, it means that when the date elapses, that particular food is no longer wholesome for consumption. But when they write best before, let me give you the definition for best before hmm. um, and, and so that we can proceed. A best before date, on the other hand, indicates the date until which a product is expected to maintain its optimal quality, such as its taste, texture, aroma, and nutritional value. While the product may lose some of these qualities after the best before date, it does not necessarily become unsafe to consume. Now, let me take my time and expatiate on this. What this means is that when you take a product and they write a best before date, what it means is when the best before date elapses, that particular food may lose its some form of quality, but that doesn't necessarily mean that it is unsafe to consume. That is why they have to subject it to a second testing before they rebarred it and did what? And distributed to the schools. And so no parent should be alarmed. So, what? so you are factually incorrect. That is because, first of all, the reports that have come out from FDA indicated that during the process of in, in checking whether, whether or not the food was unwholesome, uh, the Deputy Minister for Education, Honorable Reverend Intim Fojo, was involved. He knew about it. So that's where even uh, Kweku was wrong. Because if you look at the findings, it says that the findings uh, outlined below were arrived at during the preliminary investigation at the storage facility as well as a meeting held with Deputy Education Minister Honorable Intim Fojo uh, on phone. And they indicated on phone. And two representatives of the importer, Laments Investments Africa Limited, in person, namely Eli Dogwe, operations manager, uh, and Simon Ej, Ashanti Regional Coordinator. His number is there. I can't put it out. But uh, these are details from the Food and Drugs Authority. The, the first, the re re reports they actually provided after their investigation, and the investigation also indicated that uh, if you read the reports. The food is unwholesome for consumption. I can't read the, the whole details, which, which is just which, making me... Who released that report? The FDA. 
because the one I have here has to do with FDA. I don't know the date, but this one was released on the 15th of January 2024. Mm -hmm. And they didn't say that it is unwholesome for so, consumption. So this was... That is not what they said here. What did they say? Over here, they said, based on the evaluated information provided above and that of the FDA's CLSR analytical report, mm -hmm. which is attached, mm -hmm. a temporary extension of the best before date of the rise can be granted only to 30th of April 2024. Mm -hmm. Now, they are making the What's argument... What's report? Can you send that to me? Yeah, I can share it. Yeah, if you can share with me. Yes, I can share it with you. So clearly, what they are saying is that that's why I wanted to make the distinction between expiry date and a best before date. They are two different things that mean two different things. And so you can't lump the two and try to make meaning of it to be the same. So it is possible for you to have a product that after its best before date, you wouldn't have the quality like that you expect it to have probably you are expecting that the texture or the taste should be some way within a certain uh, stipulated time mm -hmm. but it's possible that after that stipulated time the food is still wholesome to be consumed just that you wouldn't get it in its original form or the nutritional value may even reduce that doesn't necessarily mean that the food is unwholesome for consumption and that it is poisonous to those that will consume this point should be made clear, and that is what I sought to put out there. And so there's no need for any alarm. If you have tried everything within your power to bastardize the courts, and you don't succeed, you've tried everything within your power to make sure that uh, the, gov the, the government, or should I say, parliament doesn't work, and it doesn't happen for you. And you think the best way to come out is to look at the free senior high school because we've seen that a lot of people are embracing the free senior high school and people are actually singing praises of this government. Then I think you have failed in advance because if you actually have a good campaign message, you shouldn't even be laboring yourself discussing some of these things that authorities are supposed to be in charge and to ensure that the right things are done. So, Kweku so Kweku you Kweku ranting Kweku this Kweku morning Kweku wouldn't really bring anything. So Kweku Let's Kweku leave it to the people that, that are experts to handle it. What's the clarity you're putting to the expiry date and best before date? What's, what's the expiry? The clarity I, I, I'm not is that it. she indicated that it is no longer wholesome for consumption. And I said... She has no right to say that it is unwholesome co for consumption. Pause there. That picture that was shown on the screen, <laughs> just by the site, no, 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 the rice itself. This is the FDA report. Um, the details are all there. I mean, I, I, I can't go into it right now. But the, the, the packaging, the one that came with the black things lying in the rice, just by your sight, is it something that you're going to say, well, this one, it falls within best before date or expiry? By, by what you saw? They should saw the video. The, the, I'm, I'm sure it's getting there. Yeah, this I, is I, my first time seeing this video. I don't know. Okay, so this was, I mean, is played over first, and over again. The first time it was bad. This, this, is, it. this is it. This, this, is, this is how it came. So look, look at it. This is, right. is this something you will say, you will now give intellectual analysis on no. best before dates and, and expiry dates. Is, is this something for repackaging? You know, please, let's if, not... If this is fair to your let's children... Let's not be unfair to our viewers. What I'm trying to say but, is that let us not be unfair to our viewers. Is this all that there is to the rice? Are you saying all of them are like this? So you say have all? a consignment. If you have a, a consignment of, let's say, 50 million bucks 50 million and i'm being overly ex ex exaggerating 50 million bucks and you have one of the bags All 10. looking like this what's the what, what's the um probability. probability that 10 of them are not like this or 50 of them are not like this or 100 of them are not like this you will actually be tempted you know to open at least thousand of them to check yes. if all that of them That is why they have to rip back. This. I think that is what informed them to rip back. Because they have to open it up, check that it is actually good before they can rip back. 
Isn't that what they said? That they have to re back the product. They had to re back the product, the product under which supervision? Under the supervision of FDA. FDA, after did, they invest FDA did not approve for them to re back. FDA had no power to approve that I didn't say they approved them to re back. What I'm saying is that the re bargain came after the food was subjected to FDA's probing. And now, let me tell you something. From what I've just observed, this tells you clearly that probably this the particular, no, this particular no, no, bag Tabitha, was you're exposed not, no, you're to not, moisture. You're not listening to me. The rebagging mm -hmm. did not happen after FDA's approval. FDA did not approve any rebagging. I didn't say they this approved This was a contract. Re I said they approved Who? whether the best before date could Who? be extended or not. From what I read. It? From what I read. You go this back the to the letter. They wrote to. Go back to the letter. You will see where they said that based on the evaluated information provided at birth. So it means that they subjected the food after the best before date, the best before date. Read, read. Based Maybe we'll what? just have to read it from the beginning. Based Should on we... what? That the Ashanti Regional Office of the Food and Drugs Authority received an alert on 20th of December 2023 about a repackaging exercise which had to which had not been uh, authorized by FDA being carried out at the storage facility of the National Buffer Stock Company in the Ashanti region. Um, now, it's a, a team of officers were dispatched to the said location to ascertain the uh, veracity of the alert for the officers uh, for the alert for the appropriate regulatory action to be taken in the interest of the public health and safety. So upon arrival uh, at the site, the FDA officers detected that the storage facility had been locked up. When inquired from the people around the facility, the team was informed that the action was taken by officers of the Central Command of the Ghana Police Service. The FDA team then continued to the police commander for further discussion. The team together with the team of police officers led by the regional crime officer moved to the facility to ascertain the veracity of the alerts. This was an alert that was received, so they followed up. Findings. The findings outlined below were arrived at during the preliminary, preliminary investigation at the storage facility as well as a meeting held with the Deputy uh, Education Minister, Honorable in Team Forjo, and two representatives from the importer, <laughs> Lament Investment Africa Limited, uh, uh, in person, Eli Dobe, and then Operations Officer Simon Ejay, or Simon Ejay, however you may want to pronounce it, Ashanti Regional Coordinator. So, Moshosho Rice, 25% broken white rice with registration number and the badges there was imported by Laments Investment Africa Limited and um, the address is there uh, notified by the National Buffer Stock Company. Now the rice was exported from India by by Satya Balaji Rice Industries PVT Limited. The facility had been repackaging Moshosho rice from its original yellow 50 kilogram uh, poly poly polyene bags into white 50 kilogram poly blah 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 bags with an inscription Sidao Ecowas Regional Food Security Reserve. And that's what we branded made in Ghana. So, whilst the best before date on the Moshosho rice was, uh, rice was December 2023, so the best before date you're, you're referring That's to, December to 2023, there was no date on the new bags being used for the repackaging. Additionally, the country of origin, that's India, on the new bags being used for the repackaging. No, sorry. Additionally, the country of origin had been changed to Ghana, thus, Concealing the identity of the rice. Hmm. The repackaging exercise was carried out uh, without FDA's approval, no supervision. The storage, and this is a report from the FDA, the storage facility had been licensed, sorry, had neither been licensed for storage nor repackaging. The, it continues to say the facility had no qualified trained person not supervise its activities. According to the operations manager, 
11,000 empty of the rice was received in February 2022. And this had been confirmed by two bills of lading attached. And the documents, we also have the bill of lading. Was received when? The, by December, sorry, according to the operations manager, uh, 11,000 was received February 2022. February okay. 2022. Okay. And then, uh, and remember, the date of expiry was December 2023. So the consignment was originally kept in bonded warehouses in Tema due to uh, issues of tires. The quantity of the storage facility in Kumase uh, is 20, 23,000 times 50 kilogram bags, whilst that at the Lindbrook bonded warehouse is approximately 10,000 times 50 kilogram bags. Realizing how close the best before date was, Laments Investment Africa took the samples of the rice to Food Research Institute, and that's what I was looking for, Beatrice, Food Research Institute, to analyze for possibility of extension samples of the rice for Food Research Institute to, oh, possibility of the rice, okay, for the shelf life. I'm sure that's what you were trying to explain, the shelf life. So um, having received a letter of shelf life extension from the exporter, not the manufacturer. No. The importer, according to the operations manager, wrote to the authority that's head of head requesting for approval for a repackaging uh, and said consignments of and the said consignment of the rice. However, no reply had been received prior to the repackaging. And um, <laughs> For easy references, following documents have been attached to the report. Bills of lading, invoices, uh, the phytosanity certifi certificates, fumigation certificates, certificates of, of, of origin, declaration, uh, application letter for shelf life extension. Conclusion is that the plenary investigation revealed that Laments Investment Africa Limited, the importer of the Moshosho rice, undertook a repackaging exercise in an unlicensed storage facility without, without approval nor supervision by the Food and Drugs Authority. Mm -hmm. The country of origin and the brand mm -hmm. And the brand name had been changed from India to Moshosho to Ghana and Sidao Equus, respectively. The new packaging material had, not, had no best before date, contrary to the provision of the General Labeling Regulation LI1541. Uh, maybe I'll read the recommendations. It's, it is strongly recommended that the operators of, the, of all such storage facilities across the country take take immediate steps towards licensing their facilities as per provision of Section 130 of the Public Health Act 2012, Act, 1, Act 851. Supervisors of all relevant... Uh, oh, I jumped it, sorry. And on this... Um, okay, supervisors of all relevant staff operating at the food buffer stock facility should undergo training in good storage and distribution practices. Uh, the rice may be disposed of at the end of the original shelf life. And you know what this so, so yes. Um, Tabitha, so I, this I even had a problem. I'm sorry. I even had a problem. Tabitha, I'm with you. I'm, I'm even had a problem with the Food and Drugs Authority. Because it's a Food and Drugs Authority. And that's why we struggle to make these institutions authority. Road Safety Authority, Food and Drugs Authority, uh, uh, um, uh, Standards Authority, Ghana Standards Authority. We're making them authority because we give them the power to prosecute, if, if this is something that some institution have done, why are you giving me these very soft recommendations? Obviously, the, the report is so comprehensive. Because it's government. It, it, well, it's so comprehensive that you even tell me that these bonded houses, warehouses of the food uh, buffer stock company, have not been licensed and yet are proceeding to distribute food to our students. That alone is criminal. I don't need any lawyer, judge, anybody to tell me by common sense that this is criminal. Because nobody can come from anywhere and give my children food in school. No. So, Annie, can I come? Yes, in? sure. You know, um, I, I, was one, I was thinking that we will be taking into consideration the dates because it's very important. I think um, from the country of origin, the best before date that was given to us was somewhere December 2023, right? 
And if you look at what happened, you could tell from the letter I shared with you from FDA. Mm -hmm. FDA indicated that upon the investigations that they have done, they decided to extend the best before date. And I gave you the date. Um, kindly let me refer back to my notes and just, yes. So based on the, I don't know if to, whether to start from the beginning, where the Center for Laboratory Services and Research, that is CLSR, of the Food and Drugs Authority, FDA, has revealed the following. What happened was that there was an application for shelf life extension of Moshosho white doubled polished Sortex index rise 25% broken. And when that request was made to FDA mm -hmm. to subject the food to thorough investigation mm -hmm. to see whether it is good for consumption of, or not, FDA did their own work, and what they did was that they took into consideration the analytical reports that were attached to the letter. And if you look, there are two letters that are attached, or one letter is attached to this, making it two. You see the chemical analysis that they did on the food to ascertain whether the food is wholesome for consumption yeah. or not. And the conclusion true or false. is that? The conclusion is here. Let me read it to you. Based on the evaluated information provided at birth, and that of the FDA's CLSR analytical report, which is attached. A temporary extension of the best before date of the rice, which is Moshoshu, which we are talking about, can be granted only to 30th of, of April 2024. And when was the food distributed? Hmm. That's I'm not coming. <laughs> we are taking hey. into consideration the shelf life extension. And they said it to was extended to 30th of April. Mm -hmm. 2024. Now, if you follow the reports, when was the last time they distributed the food to the schools? Do you have that detail? I can share that detail with you. Show me. The last, time, the last time the food was sent out was in February 2024. And, uh, and none has been given to any school again. Unless, of course, you have the contradictory statement that some people received the food after February. But this is what the report is saying from so, FDA and from, from uh, Buffer Stock and also from GS. GS is saying that the last time they received food from that, the said company was in February 2024. So if FDA has come out and has indicated that the food will remain wholesome. So if you check the reports that the Food and Drugs Authority released, that's yes. the one on the screen. Yes. Just the one. If you can pause it so that we all read together. It says that, conclusion, sample does not conform to the GSA standards. GS, GSA standards, the Ghana Standard Standards, standards Authority. Authority. 765-2016. GS 765-2016. Cereals, pulses, and legumes. Specific, uh, specification for rice. So that's a specification for rice. If you can see on your screen, hmm, I'm mm. beginning to feel me. But that is what, okay, my producer has written for me. Their conclusion is that samples does not conform to GSA standard cereals, pul uh, uh, pulses, and legumes. That's the conclusion of the FDA. I'm coming. I don't know hmm. if I have. You, you know, I mean, and the letter you're reading is actually a, 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 a rejoinder from the FDA when they applied. Mm -hmm. When they applied yes. for the uh, change of expiry date or okay. the, whatever they wanted them yes. to do. Yes. You That's see, what you're so, reading. listen. I don't know why you are deciding to ignore the conclusion that they drew. The conclusion Before is that the based on the evaluated, you see, information. I'm not reading from my own whatever. I'm reading from their reports. Unless, of course, you have a different interpretation to what they have concluded here. They are saying that based on the evaluated information provided at birth, and I told you that a best before date is different from an expiry date. That is not to say that the quality hasn't been compromised. It has been compromised, but that doesn't necessarily mean that it is unwholesome for consumption. Let's make this clear. I am not interested in defending whatever the company did, whether they rebagged or whatever. My concern is is the food wholesome enough for the children to consume? Okay. And per what the FDA is saying, it is still wholesome. 
And I told you that the last time a school received rice from this particular, uh, what do you call it, company was in February. And GES is confirming that it was in February, that was the last time they received such food from the company. And quite apart from that, let us also make it clear that FDA gave a best before date. The second proposed best before date FDA released was supposed to be in 30th of April 2024. And so, if the food was distributed before this 30th of April 2024, how do you then say that the food is unwholesome if FDA has said that it continues to be wholesome? That is the point I'm making here. And another point I want to make very clear here is that even if you buy a bag of rice today and you do not store the rice very well, and the best before date is two years to come, and water, unfortunately, gets into contact with that food, it may develop molds or fungi, and before you realize, you can't even eat it, mm -hmm. even though the best before date has elapsed or hasn't even elapsed. elapsed yeah. So that is why I'm saying that until you come out and have evidence that the food is no longer safe for consumption, you cannot conclude. You cannot yeah, conclude. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. tell, so what's your conclusion? So in, my letter, conclusion in the letter you wrote, what's your conclusion? My conclusion is uh, that... Which is, maybe you also, my I'll send you that letter so you also have a yes. fair idea. So my conclusion... Your conclusion on this rejoinder from the FDA is what? My conclusion is that per what the FDA is saying is, which we shouldn't disregard is yeah, that the food that. remains to be wholesome for consumption. That is what the FDA is saying. And they gave a second proposed, uh, what a proposed uh, report. expiry date, sorry, uh, best before date, which is 30th of April. And I told you that schools, the last time schools received food from this company was in February 2024. Unless, of course, you have a date that. So uh, that uh, indicates that, that the last time they received the food the was in February. The one you projected on the screen. It okay. was in February. So if it is within the, persim uh, the permissible date for it to be consumed, I will still go with what FDA is and, saying. And who gave that permission for it to be consumed? First of all, FDA. First of all, take notes. That FDA they gave that hold permission. On, hold on. Right from the word go. You, we are even getting into the area we shouldn't even get to. It's not even necessary because right from the, the start... There's a rebagging -bag procedure. And the rebagging procedure had no approval from any of these institutions, either from the, uh, uh, the, uh, those who were giving the change of dates or expiry dates, or even from the FDA. It was under no supervision. Take note of that. It, was so under, uh, it wasn't under the, the supervision of the Ghana Under Ghana's no Ghana's supervision mean that the food is unwholesome that's the question because the, the, how do you come to so, that so, so, so what's the point having your institutions to supervise such <laughs> activities no i'm not saying it is wrong for them to supervise uh, so don't get me wrong it's wrong don't get me wrong that is why i want you to to be clear that don't get me wrong my main concern is was the food still wholesome per the reports coming from the fda was it still wholesome when they were doing the repackaging that is where my concern is you tell me was it wholesome per what i read or what i have read so far i think that the expiry date has not elapsed you and think so it is still it, it, you know you think no the dates are there to, to to prove i gave you the dates i told you that the date the first proposed best before date was in April, uh, was in December 2023. That is the best before date, the first best before date. But after the food had been subjected to testing by FDA, they extended it to 30th April 2024. And per the reports we are getting from uh, Ghana Education Service, they are saying the last time this food was sent out to schools was in February 2024. And so, until you come and tell me that, a school received this particular food after the proposed date coming from FDA, then I will say that, yes, the food has actually, uh, 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 it hasn't met its uh, expected date for which it should be what distributed. So a food received in schools, not having its country of origin um, specified on the backs, are okay to be given to kids because, according to you, you know, they may um, be wholesome. You know... Let's not do this to ourselves.
No, you know. There are things no, you don't call, do this work. This, no, this is, let's not this do is, this, this because is, you know. No, this is. Yeah, and it's not every, it's not every food. Yeah, every food. Okay. He's speaking for government. Please, yeah. Allow you know, it's not every Why food is that government enters. Well. Listen, <laughs> it's not every food that enters into the school or into their kitchen that will come with the country of origin or no. For instance, perishable goods like this, you don't go looking for country of origin. I'm talking about perishable foods that we're come not, in. But we're not talking about perishable foods here. Yes, we're you, about are, you are so that big. Must have I'm coming. Manufacturing Your concern, details on them. Annie, I think you are shifting the conversation. You are shifting from whether the food is wholesome to the origin of the food. No, you want to stick to the no, fact No, I want to stick to the fact that the food was the food still wholesome when they were given to the school? Yes, so I'm, I'm, I'm sticking to it. Yes, and I'm, I'm not, saying that not, if that is the argument we I'm are not making arguing, this morning. No, hold on. I'm not arguing with you whether or not the food was wholesome. I've already read. I didn't even prepare to do this, but I've read the whole Same report with me. to you. I wasn't prepared What's for this. I think uh, well, that's why I was telling you hold that. Hold on. They are just trying hold to on, bring tactics of the like what? So I've read the full. The, I've read the full findings of the FDA to you, right? Mm -hmm. You still stick to the fact that the food may have been wholesome, so we shouldn't make a big deal. I said, okay, fine. Let's shift from hey, that. The dates that and have been then given to us from FDA, on, the food was still wholesome what the when it was sent says. to the schools. The Ghana Standards Authority have specified laws on what we have to do when it comes to. Um, 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 what's it called? Cereals, especially to schools. Granted. What, what's it supposed to be? Granted. We know, have, we, know, we, we know the details. We know what we're expected to do. Was it done? No. Granted. That is why I'm saying that my focus is on the wholesomeness of the food. I mean, if you are talking about the bread bargain and whatever, that okay. one is a different angle to the whole conversation. Okay. But I think that she was trying to um, create this panic in parents that their kids are in school feeding on unwholesome food. Okay. But the fact of the matter is that per what we have been previewed or what is coming from FDA and what is coming from GES is that the food was still wholesome when they were sent to the schools. Okay. Quick. And that's the most important thing I, I, I think we should be Did talking quickly, about. Let's take a break. Quickly. Any chemist who says she's a chemist and would not appreciate certain basic things will be no chemist at all. Because you know why? <laughs> Much as there is a difference between expiry dates and best before, they are not put there for aesthetics. They are not just put there because the manufacturer feels that I have to put this there because that's what I feel. People argue that water doesn't expire. I've heard a lot of chemists argue about that. And people say water expires. And so there is an argument about it. The point we should be making is that Look at the pictures, and I want your producers to put the video of the rice on the screen. Without any chemical knowledge and being a chemist, you would know that there is something fundamentally wrong. So assuming that the, the bed before, which had even lapsed, assuming it had not even lapsed, what it means is that even if you were to repackage, you were to repackage under very strict conditions, knowing that you could mix this with, with, good with good ones because of quantity. And remember, this is a company that is selling the food for profit. And then you say that the FDA has told you that this thing was not rebagged under our supervision. And that by our own test, it does not even meet the Ghana Standard Authority's qualification. But you sit in your home and you say that, oh, the nutritional oh, value. Actually came out with some chemical I'm talking about Tabitha sitting here. Ah, okay. That, oh, the nutritional value may have reduced yet, but it is not unwholesome. People buy food to eat for reduced nutritional values. That's what we eat, we eat food for. That, oh, although the food may not meet your nutritional needs because the nutritional value has, has reduced, yes. it is not poisonous, so you should eat. We're from this new thinking. We're from this low levels that I thought government may show or government communicators may show some form of remorse. By this time, be pointing out that governments will be committed to investigation and punish those who are culpable. But we are being told that we should be grateful because we are eating food that the nutritional values have reduced. But some way, somehow, they are not poisonous. And you know, the funny thing is that 
Oh, you know what? The rice, I will not say rice. The rice was distributed to all the schools in February. So all the schools in Ghana finished consuming the food in February. When you distribute food, every day the children eat rice. So in the space of one month, they would have finished eating the rice. Or they would have... What happened to those who did not consume within your beds before debate? 